Actually, um, from, from a historical vantage point, I, I want to note this. Um, not too long ago, similar arguments were made in terms of marriages between black folk and white folk. That, that in the 1960s, it was just kind of freed up that there was, it was legal for black people and white people to marry. And many of those arguments were also biblical. Um, when thinking about common law unions, there's always been a kind of recognition in varied ways, in various communities, of these family structures, right? And I know, uh, you know, coming up with, with the black women in some of the communities I was in, they would always talk about their friend, right? So we knew who the friend was, and you know, all y'all know the friends, right? And you're, you know, you're, and in the, with divorces, and this is why we talk about seniors, with divorces, this notion of common law, it becomes very important that we understand what these very far-reaching implications are, and what was best said is, not so much what's known, but what is not known, um, and you ask a very good question because what we don't fully know and what will stay tied up in the courts is what the real, what the law meant, what this amendment meant. And so unfortunately a lot of families can get caught up and really harmed while we're sorting all of that out. So North Carolina, by superseding law, there is no common law marriage. 